we'll do a little intro so people know what's going on. Okay, there was a there was a shooting of a man. A man was shot in Portland, Oregon by police officers. Uh, the man's name is Kimmins. Mr. Kimmins was shot and killed by police officers, and there are debates about if it was a legal shooting or not. Some people say they heard multiple gunshots, as many as 15. Some people say it was a lot less. I don't know if the coroner's report is back yet, but let's just say the people of Portland, Oregon, are very suspicious about the police force. They're very suspicious that it's possible things are not being handled the way they should be handled there in Portland. Okay? There are a group of activists in Portland who decided to stage a walkathon, okay, a protest in the streets of Portland, Oregon. Here goes a video clip of just some of the things that happened during one of these protests. Because I told you to. Really? Mm -hmm. Don't hurt yeah, me. Yeah, brother. Just go yeah, you little white little go. fucker. Really? Yeah. yeah. You're that a fucking way. whitey. You're a whitey, aren't you? The First Amendment. Get the fuck down the road. Please just keep going the direction. Just please turn right please for Christ's sake. Please go the direction I asked for you Jesus to go. For Jesus Christ's sake, don't turn please, right. you're blocking well, yeah. traffic and they're getting busy. Oh, we're blocking traffic. You can turn. You can just turn. Just go. Just go. Just turn, please. Please just keep going. Now you're going to have to wait. You've got cars coming. What do I say here? Oh, get out of South Carolina. Carolina. You are a little white supremacist. Oh, North right. Carolina, huh? Right. I'm a white supremacist because I'm white. Are you kidding me? Go There's back to North Carolina where you came this from. Yeah. We don't need your KKK in Portland, Oregon. KKK from North Carolina. Yeah. Hey, 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 someone hey, shut hey. the fuck up so I can speak. I got traffic. I got traffic. Ask me if I give a fuck. I was talking to him, not you. Thank you very much. But I'm in the middle, I'm in the middle, I'm in the middle of the, the intersection. Oh, shit. And uh, if I can have someone come, come if I can Where is have it? someone come, oh. well, I can. Yeah. I need some Well, they're blocking traffic. Uh, Patrick, give it! Patrick, give it! Patrick, give it! Get someone in the street, fucking dumbass! I know you hit me right now. I'll beat the shit out of you. I'll beat the shit out of you with him. Fuck him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Slow down. Slow down. Come on. Slow down. There's no reason to. You're lucky you didn't hit me. I ought to beat your ass. I guarantee you that. Fuck, you don't pay my bills. Shut the fuck up. Don't engage. Don't engage. I love you. Before I get into how I feel about this demonstration about the protest march, and I know this is just a snapshot, but before we get into how I feel about the protest march, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the Kimmins shooting. Okay? The Kimmins shooting took place, or he was shot September 30th around 3 a.m. Portland Police Bureau Sergeant Gary Britt and Officer Je Jeffrey Livingston heard gunshots from the side of their vehicles park near, I don't know, I don't understand that, at the other end of the lot near the Southwest 3rd Avenue. I guess you got to be from Portland, Oregon to understand this. Two men were wounded. Police then saw Kimmins turn toward them or hid their way holding a gun. This information, what I'm reading to you, is from the Oregonian and Oregon Live website. The officers yelled commands and fired at Kimmins with their handguns, striking him in the upper torso and leg. Between the sergeant and officer, 10 to 12 shots were fired. The police are awaiting forensic analysis from the state on a revolver found near Kimmins to determine if he had that gun. Four other guns were recovered at the scene, but suspect Kimmins shot the two other men at the scene, sources say. Police officials have said that Little public have said little publicly about the circumstances of the shooting, despite pleas from the Kimmins family and other supporters. So that's where we are with this story. Very little information has been sent out to the people. People are wondering what happened. Please explain. Give us more details. We have a dead young man. Multiple shots were heard. We, we don't know. 
There has nothing been released officially about forensics. How many bullets entered Mr. Kimmins? What's the result? Do we know the idea of the gun that they say was used to kill the other two people that were at the scene? Did Kimmins fire on the officers? Did they see him with the gun? Did they see him fire on the two deceased? What proof do we have? What's going on? So this is all over the place. But here's what I got to say about this. If you looked at this video, you didn't hear all of that story that sounds very, very troubling, to say the least, right? I heard all this crap. I'm, I'm thinking, what kind of protest is this where you're threatening people that had nothing to do with the shooting at Kimmins? I don't understand it. I don't understand how it's beneficial. I don't understand what they were doing, first of all. Why are you in the middle of the street directing traffic? Where are the police department? Why is there a, a, a permit for the march? I've been a part of marches. People get permits. Like, I know things go on in the streets. You can't control it. But don't jump in my timeline acting as if people threatening drivers of vehicles, not in their business. They didn't have anything to do with Kimmins. They might not even know what you're there for. Threatening to beat their asses. I mean, what kind of crap is this? I know a lot of places where if you are threatening people driving home or driving wherever they're trying to go and you're not, you don't have any authority and you're threatening to pull them out their car and beat their ass, well, you know, there may be more shootings that occur like right then and there. I don't know what you think this is, but that sounds inappropriate as hell to be just threatening people who are just driving down the street. And someone was like, Tim Black, well, look at the look what this black man was shot and killed. I, you already know how I feel about that. But I'm looking at this like, how does this help his family for you to get publicity of calling somebody a cracker ass something in their car just driving down the street? I don't, I don't understand how you help things. I don't understand how you think that helps things. Now, if you can't admit this is some shitty tactics to use in order to draw, draw attention about a, a, well, what you say may be a questionable shooting, maybe a freaking murder, I, I don't know what to do with that. I mean, you got to admit it's whack. That's not how you do things. It's not how it's done. I'm pretty sure that Kim's family, who says, yes, we want to get to the bottom of the situation, they don't want you threatening people as they go about their business and punching their vehicles. I don't really think you got a leg to stand on when it comes to this. There's a way to protest. And don't give me that, oh, Tim Blackwell, we should be able to do whatever we want. If we give them a reason to dismiss us, they will. If you give them a reason, if you give them the leverage to dismiss you, they will dismiss you. Don't help them dismiss our claims. Now, as for Mr. Kimmins, I have no idea what took place that night. Obviously, I'm here in Maryland. I'm not there. I want justice in whatever form it comes in, as in whatever true justice is. I would like to find out what happens with this case. I will follow back up on this case. All I'm telling you, folks who were in my timeline, who didn't like me criticizing the protesters, who all I know, all I see is them kicking cars. All I hear is them threatening people who had nothing to do with a shooting that they said occurred a week ago. That doesn't make sense to me. I don't like it when you justify wrong activity. I don't justify cops who shoot people unnecessarily. I don't justify citizens who call the police on people unnecessarily. Using cops as a bludgeon against disenfranchised people or people they know that that could die at the hands of cops. Like I don't I don't let that go either. Well I'm not gonna let you go being a dickhead in the middle of the street threatening people that haven't done anything to you other than try to get home. So I don't know what you think I am. I don't know what I have no idea. But I'm just telling you, that's not how I roll. I don't care for Trump supporters. I don't care for Antifa supporters. I don't care for Democrat supporters. I don't care for Green supporters. I just don't cave. And to the person who said, Tim Black, why don't you just go ahead and join the Trump train? To you, let me publicly tell you, let me respond by saying, until Jeff Sessions, until you, until you fuckheads can admit Jeff Sessions is bad for black people, until you can admit Donald Trump's policies of cutting social programs, hurt poor people and black people until you can admit that it's not corporate welfare. It's not welfare that, that's the problem. It's corporate welfare that's the problem. We give more money away in subsidies than we ever give in food stamps. Until you admit all the, all the above, I'm going to have to tell you like this, Hoss. That's going to be a hard no for me.